Hey everyone, welcome to the coding mom. So in previous video, we have seen that how you can deploy your Laravel application to the digital oceans app platform. In this video, we are going to learn how you can deploy your Node.js backend application to the digital oceans app platform. So let me show you the repository I will be using to deploy this application. So this is the repository I have created. So this is the mono repo for full stack application. You can say it's a boilerplate created by me. So this boilerplate you can use to start with your any production application. You can take a reference of this mono repo and start building on top of it. This mono repo provides Node.js backend. In the front end, I have set up the Next.js application. And in DevOps directory, you will find I also created a Terraform script to deploy it to AWS cloud. And you can also see this Docker Compose file for local development of your applications. So this boilerplate is a full suit to start your development on Node.js application. So this is the mono repo I will be deploying to the DigitalOcean's app platform. So let's get started. Uh, let me click on to this create app button and it will take me to the new screen. Here I'll be selecting the GitHub and let me select my repository. And I will be selecting main branch, but I will be selecting this backend as a source directory because this is a mono repo and I need to select in which directory my backend is residing, right? And I will be selecting this auto deploy option. And in next screen, I need to select this instance sizes. So in the current repo, I already have a Docker file. If you go to the backend directory, I have created this Docker file to deploy on AWS cloud. So this can be used to deploy your application to the production. So there are two ways I can deploy to this digital ocean app platform. If I already have a production ready Docker file, I can use that or I can deploy this or run this application using various NPM command as well. For example, to run this application, I will need to install all the NPM packages and select the specific node version. And if I run NPM run start, my node server will be started. So let me delete this configuration and let me edit the instance size. So I'm selecting $5 a month and I also need to add on which port I will be listening to this application. So that is 3000. I will be listening to the base route. So I don't need to enter any route. And this command can stay as it is. Let me go to the back and click on to this next button. I can add environment variable as well. So if I go to my environment file, let me add this node in v and save i'll be selecting bangalore as my region and if i need to add anything i can add here otherwise i think we are good to go so build has started so in few minutes you'll be able to see your application will be up and running in your given url so let's wait for a few minutes and as you can see, it has installed various packages and it might take just few minutes. Uh, let's wait for that. So build has completed. Now I think it will start deploying our application. Correct. It has started deploying. So if I click on to this live app button, I should be able to open this application. If I go to hello route, it should give me the successful response of hello world. So this way you can deploy your Node.js application to the digital oceans app platform. It's very easy. It's super simple. And if I push any new thing to this application, it should build everything automatically and it should be deployed into this app platform app. You can also change the settings if you want to change the name of your application you should be able to do so you can go to the settings and change the name of the application i can say that my node.js app and it should be ready yes it's updated so 
This is how you can deploy your any Node.js application with just few clicks. You don't need to configure a lot. It's just a super and easy way to deploy your application to the cloud. And with the DigitalOcean, it's also super easy to scale your application as well. So if you are not familiar with AWS Cloud and there are different services like ECS, Elastic Binstock or EC2, you don't need to worry. Now you can quickly get your application to the cloud in just few minutes. So this was all about deploying your application to the cloud or DigitalOcean platform. If you have any question, just feel free to comment down and I will be able to answer those questions. Till then, like this video, share this video and if you have any question, comment down below. Thank you so much.